All right, next up we're going to do blue leather dye on a birch top. This is a nice flame birch top. This is on the back side of the midnight blue telly. So a nice flame. We're just going to do a single color here today. We're going to start with this Angelus blue leather dye. You can see the link in the description or from my website. We're just going to go ahead and apply this on pretty thick. Let this soak in real good. Fast forward this a little bit. You can see that figure popping out already with the blue. So another video I just posted the other day is a midnight blue, which has a black base sanded off. The same wood, you see just the different color popping off. So we'll put about two good coats. And then we'll go ahead and sand this off with my sander. It's a two amp sander, a little bit more aggressive than the black and decker, but it's got a nice vacuum attachment. So pull up that color, let it sit. So this is 400 grit sandpaper, and we're gonna sand off a decent portion of the blue that I just put down. Always let that dye sit for about 12, 24 hours before you sand. You can see the really beautiful figure here. You can just leave it at this point or you can begin to play with more coloring. So I really just want to feather the edges so the figure is really in that centerpiece. And what I'm going to do is add some more blue around the edge. So I've diluted out the blue slightly. About half blue, half denatured alcohol. And we'll go ahead and begin to rub this in. So we'll begin to just pull that color through towards the center. Go in the semi-circular pattern to get, it, to get it to fade and look like a burst. I'm going to take a little bit of denatured alcohol, kind of fade that in. So the alcohol is going to act as a dilutant and just pull some of that color around. I'll go back with the blue once more and really darken up that edge. And come back with the denatured alcohol rag and again just kind of wipe it through. Lots of back and forth, make sure you get the coloring proper here. But this one's pretty simple, because after you let this dry, then that's it. One color, fades in nicely. And I got that nice ring of blue around the edge. Clean up one spot up there. And then that's the blue dye with a blue edge and sanded back in the middle. So this after 24 hours, all the dye has dried. We're going to take this outside and use some McFadden sanding sealer. We're going to put a couple coats on, and you get to see the really beautiful effect that this has now. Birch is a little blotchy at times. There's some blotching on the top and the bottom, uh, but really happy with the way this turned out. Nice big flames. Dye looks pretty good really faded in nicely beautiful coloring here so thanks for watching guys check out my new website and see you in the next vid